Okay, so as promised, doing a little story video on the unicorn car. It's, it's the name that we gave this car, the nickname, because, you know, 15 years ago, uh, a gentleman had a TA and he walked up to tell me he knew about a black AR over in Queens that had a four-speed white interior and had a tree growing up through it. And I said, can you please, you know, give me the info. I want to know about the car. And, and then for years, the car was there and all of a sudden it was gone. And we didn't know what happened to it. So then we, we just affectionately nicknamed the car the Unicorn. Well, some friends of mine, Frankie and Brendan, they, they, someone saw the car and told them about it, and they said they found it. So imagine my surprise today when I roll into Carlisle, and Frank comes over and says to me, the unicorn car is here. And sure enough, go over, and there it is. So what I'm showing you is the unicorn car. It's actually just a TX9 black interior, H6X9, D21 four-speed car. Um, and I love black cars. Um, always been a favorite of mine and as you know I, if many of you know me I tried to buy a black automatic black interior survivor car and I couldn't get it done but this car here is definitely unique I want to have the owner come over here and tell you a little bit about the car and how he found it and how the restoration everything went through so why don't you tell us how did you come across this car somebody had to tell you about it so keep walking with me and we'll, we'll go around the car and just tell me a little about it well as you uh, as you are uh, I'm a black uh, I like black cars as well so I always said well if I'm gonna buy uh, uh, an AAR I'd like to find a black one so looking around and looking around I uh, kept saying I'd be I'd be interested well lo and behold uh, actually a business school classmate of mine said hey my brother actually has a black I said, really? That's a chance to race. He lives in Queens. I said, is he interested in selling it? He said, well, no, he's not. He's going to absolutely restore it. I said, okay. So after a few more conversations, uh, I finally had a, a buddy of mine say, do you think you could at least have your uh, cohort uh, introduce me? So we did. We uh, actually made a road trip out to Queens, and there it was, sitting in uh, Forest Hills, uh, kind of back not a, a tree was not growing through. so the tree story was a, the fat. tree story was fat and yeah. as you can tell the white interior was, was right fat. right but it was setting back at a pretty steep angle under a uh, a carport and if you notice on the back uh back here the back glass there's still some water stain on the back glass yeah you can see it yeah how the uh when it was setting an angle so in long story short I asked this, I said, are you interested in something? He said, no, I'm going to restore this car myself. So, you know what, as you do, you just keep in contact with folks and you right. visit with them. Finally, he decided that, yes, he would sell a car. So, about, I guess about eight or so years ago, we um, went out there, uh, talked to him, and ended up purchasing the car and bringing it back uh, to have restoration done in northern New Jersey. The car was an, an absolute mess. Uh, the firewall was rusted out. Uh, a lot of the front end was rusted to fender well. So this is, I guess you could say, more than a rotisserie restoration. It was almost a total rebuild and restoration of the car. Uh, but after uh, about four or five years, we got it put back to this shape. Now, this is not the original engine that came with the car. I have that engine back at home. But uh, this engine was actually found in Ohio. And in total uh, um, assembly, the only thing that was not with this engine were the manifolds and one of the valve covers but uh, pretty lucky to find that engine like that and how did you get dan gurney to sign the air cleaner explain that story a little bit um so i actually am a graduate of art center uh, um, and was an automobile designer so knowing uh, a few of the guys in the car business we knew some connections and knew dan so uh, got to go down and visit with he and the and tour his shop and just got to know him spent some time messing with some cars down there so when i started doing this i said hey dan would you sign this he said well absolutely so we just put it together and signed it and uh, a few years before dan passed so you just he signed that fairly recently then because if he signed it right before he passed away that's correct yeah, yeah. just uh, uh, uh probably what Dan that what, about two or three years ago? About three or four years ago, yeah, it's been about three years, yeah. And uh, so he, he did that. In fact, I still got a Christmas card from he and Evie in the glove box in there. Wow, that's awesome. Well, thank you for the story. It's a cool car. I can't tell you what, what it means to me to actually see the car after all these years of hearing about it, find out that it actually did get restored and not, you know, just hold up somewhere. And uh, I'm sure the viewers appreciate it. And uh, guys, thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll try to make a couple more tomorrow and have some for the site. Again, six-pack garage, transamcuda.com, Challenger TA Registry, Hamtrak Historical. 
you guys know it, like it, share it, comment, let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys soon.